Did U.S. intelligence get it wrong? Was there a change of heart by Kim Jong Un? What do you what do you think happened there? I think it's too early to tell. Actually, I think just because a nuclear test didn't happen this weekend doesn't, doesn't mean it won't evolve. happen soon. I think they're definitely prepared to execute on one. But even beyond a nuclear test, which is obviously very concerning, is the ballistic missile test. And clearly, Kim Jong Un felt that it was okay to proceed with a missile test this weekend, despite uh, what President Trump and others have been saying. And even though it was a failed test, it's still a test, and it still helps them learn. The capability. So everyone sort of seems to be talking about how well the test failed and therefore the Trump play worked. I actually am not sure about that. I actually think that they'll continue to test going forward. Well, one of the things that got a lot of people's attention today was a headline in the New York Times where they quoted someone as saying, This is kind of like a Cuban Missile Crisis in slow motion. Is that descriptive? I think it is. I think if you listen again to our lead, the leaders of the countries in the region, they're starting to feel as if they're under intense pressure. But they're also feeling, especially in Tokyo, where they don't have offensive weapons, they're feeling that they're, uh, they're suffering from a missile gap. So as Kelly said, there's a this, the, the next stage is to deploy THAAD, uh, the new missile, ballistic missile defense system in South Korea. Japan will be upping its game on missile defense. There's been some controversy. Should that be pulled out? What do you think about that? Well, there's an election in South Korea yeah. on May 9th. And so you have Seoul right now basically a holding government, right? A government just in waiting until the next government comes in. I think just being in Seoul, I suspect that our next president in South Korea will be a little bit more of the progressive left, leaning a little bit towards dialogue with North Korea. So we're going to have to have some very careful adjusting, I think, of the way we talk to, about this problem with the South. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.